Hi, everybody. Today we are going to make a nutcracker. When my son was little, he collected nutcrackers, and he had quite a few, mostly from the cheap dollar store. And I am using red, green, gold, black, beige, and white. And this is about a oh, four by five sheet of paper. I'm going to try to stay very still while I'm talking because the last uh, narration I did had a lot of clicking noises in it. It was the little boy in a box. So I'm going to try not to move because every time I move, I think there's a clicking noise. So anyway, we're going to start with his legs. And as always, you can make them any color that you want. You know, nutcrackers, they're all different shapes and sizes. All different kinds, all different colors. And these are the colors that I picked for mine. And you can pick different colors. And we're going to put the two legs together. And then we are going to add black boots at the bottom. Oh, I kind of faded there. I'm going to add black boots. And we're going to make logs, two black logs, and then we're going to press them up at the bottom for the feet. And now, you know, most of my ornaments, I do make places where you can personalize, but this one really doesn't have anywhere where you can personalize. Have you ever tried cracking nuts with one of these nutcrackers? I could never get it to work. I think they're just, yeah, they're just decorative. They don't really work. And we're going to roll two logs for his arms. When we, I may have told you this before, but when we first moved down here, my parents had a black walnut tree in their yard. And Black walnuts, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they come in these, like, they look like tennis balls, and they're green, and the nut is inside this thing. And the first year we were here, my mother decided she was going to get the, the walnuts out, and oh my gosh, that was a job. And her hands turned black, and she never did it again. She said it wasn't worth it. And after that, we always threw the black walnuts into the pond. If one fell off the tree and hit you in the head, trust me, you knew it. They also had a pecan tree, which that, those worked much better. And now the embellishment I did on his jacket, you can do it any way you want. You don't have to do it the way I do it. But first, we're covering his boots. I'm getting ahead of myself. And that's the gold. And I believe that's a color called Buried Treasure. Sculpey 3. I hope I don't hear any clicks. Because I'm trying to stay really, really still and not move. I see here how the way I'm adding that on. You can change that up any way you want. And we're making the cuffs. And 
This is a different gold than Sculpey had before. I think I like the other gold better. I am literally sitting on my hands so I don't talk with them. Keep myself from moving. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you can pretty much see what I'm doing. I don't have to explain every little bit to you. This reminds me of when I used to do the uh, ornaments for the girls, the little girls in the Nutcracker Ballet. Every year I made the, an ornament to match the costume they were wearing. That group of girls has all grown up now and in college, so they are not doing the Nutcracker Ballet anymore. But I have some nice pictures of them, of the ornaments I made for them. Now we're going to add his head. Oh, I, I'm not very talkative, am I? I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's getting late. Oh, gosh, it's 9.05. Almost time to go to bed. I listened to a podcast called Coffee Break German. And I put the sleep timer on. And it's not that it puts me to sleep, but I do fall asleep to it. So I had eight years of Spanish in school, and I tried coffee break German, and oh gosh, they really lost me. I, I couldn't keep up. Now, I'm giving him some really wild white hair. Now, if you look at some of the nutcrackers, they really do have some crazy looking hair. And I always wondered, why is their mustache black, but their hair and their beard is white? Hmm. But I'm finding with the coffee break German, and you know, German was my first language, and uh, came here to the U.S. when I was seven, so I've lost a lot of it, and it's just coming back so easily. It's kind of amazing. Now we're going to make his hat, and you know, you can make his hat any way you want, any color you want, give him a crown. They're very versatile. I would love to see what you guys do with this ornament. Making the brim of the hat there. And when you make the brim of the hat, you just roll a rope and then pinch it when you put it on to give it a, a crisp edge. Tomorrow morning, I go back to my brother's house so I can pick him up at dialysis. And he called me and said that the central air has gone out. Oh, boy, that's going to be fun in 100-degree weather. All right, let's put the hook in. I told him, call the air conditioning man. 
He said, well, it's Sunday. I said, yeah, but he, he's a friend of yours. He knows you're not well. So hopefully he did. I haven't heard back from him. And he has five other people in the house there with him. Of course, the four-year-old couldn't call, but one of the other four, the four adults could. Now, when I made his mouth, you know how they have those teeth that come kind of come down? I wish I had made an indentation and put the teeth inside, but I kind of just sat them on top of that. I could have done that better. So maybe uh, take a little tip from me. And, and if you have to, practice this before you put it on his face. Uh-oh. I was talking with my hand there. Got to get back and sit on it. All right, that's just the beard. Now we're going to do the mouth. And what I meant by uh, making an indentation is, you know, um, poking a hole in there and making room for the teeth inside the red area. But I sat it on top. But it's okay. Came out all right. But maybe you might want to try the other way. I'm just texturing for the teeth. Remember, they're just wooden teeth, so... Now we're going to do the mustache, and um, it's not that hard. Just make the teardrop shape, and then we're going to uh, turn up the pointed edge. And if you need to, practice a little bit. You know, practice is very important when you're working with clay. If you're not sure how to do something, just practice it for a little bit without putting it on the face. You know, just try practicing making the piece. Now his nose is just a teardrop shape, and I'm putting it on. And I will be painting his eyes on. And of course, before we do anything else, we have to put the holly leaves and berries on. But first, I'm going to blush before you bake. Now, I've been at my house here now for two and a half days, and you all know I have no television here, no cable, uh, no internet. So I filmed, I believe it was 10 videos, and this was one of them, but I have a lot of editing to do. So... I'm glad I got that done, though. There was no one here to interrupt me, no one to bother me.
I hope next time that I come up here, it's not raining so I can get out there and do a video. And I have to be honest with you, as far as the fish tank, I got it clean, but I have not put the rocks back in yet. Oh, look, we're all done. I know this one took a little longer than most, but there he is with his eyes. He looks a little scared, but, you know, that's okay. And that's it. And I think I'm going to go to bed now. So bye, everybody. <laughs>